Hello YouTube, my name is Zuleika and why I'm doing this kind of videos is just because I try to record 500 million videos to introduce myself and tell you to follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my artworks but I didn't like any of them there were like 500 attempts and my phone is full right now with videos and I still didn't choose any therefore just I will just record in this way so please uh, follow me on Instagram if you want to to see more of my artworks and today I'm gonna just draw on the pocket of my jeans or we'll just call it custom denim and we can start of course in order not to be messy I use the white tape I start with the white paint because it's the first and most important step in drawing on jeans why firstly because you need to make other colors to pop up and to be brighter and secondly to save other paints because if you don't do the first white layer you'll have to use a lot more of other colors as soon as i have finished drawing the first white layer I let it dry for 30 minutes and I draw an almost invisible sketch of what I want to draw with a pencil. This time I chose a ladybug which is my favorite insect of all time since I like red and black. The next step I usually do is to paint the background. Since I didn't have the green paint, I mixed yellow and blue in order to get different shades of green like yellowish green or bluish green or green itself. My fastest and favorite way of painting is to start using the acrylic colors on palette which I already mixed as first in order to save the amount of the paint and the time to draw. Therefore, as you can see, the first shade of green I got, I used directly in different spaces of the pocket. As you can see, I actually decided to put the sunlight coming from the top left of the pocket to make the paint more realistic with blakes and shadows. It's obvious that the space further from the sun is gonna be darker and closer to it brighter. This is the plastic palette I use and on it you can see some shades of green I mix it up to fill the background. Of course it's better to finish the background as fast as you can before the paint gets dry, especially if the background is blurry. And it would make it easy to create the beautiful gradient as I did on this pocket. Therefore I tried to finish as fast as I could. For the piece of grass, I used bluish green, so in order to get it, I added more blue paint to the green one. My strategy is to finish painting the most details in the beginning as much as I can in order to leave as less work as possible to the end. Since the acrylic paint gets dry fast enough, I was able to start painting the ladybug itself. Okay, pardon for this shaking video, my weak tripod wasn't able to hold the heavy camera in a proper way. This is the first time I'm recording the video process, so I did many mistakes. For painting the ladybug itself, I used the same strategy as I did for the background. So on the space closer to the sun, I use the brighter colors and on the space further from the sun, I use the darker colors. I would like to also say the second reason why I painted so much. It's because under the pressure of videotaping, I thought I must finish as soon as possible. So when I was actually finishing the back side of the ladybug I thought to give some time to let it dry to start drawing the face because I didn't want to mix 
the black one was the red color after having a break of five minutes i started drawing the face of the ladybug this was so far the hardest part for me to paint since i don't have the thin brush the sm the thinnest one to paint the small details eventually i actually was able to draw the face in a very detailed way and uh, for the face i used the black paint as well as the gray for the blicks and the eyes actually how do you call the face of an insect i don't know anyway i spend most of my time drawing this face therefore just follow the process For a second, I thought the quarantine would be a nice opportunity to start drawing many things on clothes and on canvas, but I didn't foresee that the, the quarantine in Italy would start so early and I didn't buy enough paints, therefore I have just paints to draw on denim and they aren't enough i they would be like only enough for me oh four five or three pieces of clothes i am actually very sad since all the shops even online shops are closed and at least they will be open after the easter After finishing painting the face of the ladybug, I started painting the details of the back side of it. Since I do not see the pencil sketch anymore, I improvise the black dots. To get the effect of shining insect, I used an orange paint as well as red and white one. Of course, I mix it up with a huge amount of water. I use all of those three colors from the side where the sun is shining. And of course, I was fixing all the details in the face of the ladybug with the white and black.
After all the layers are enough dry, I put more details, the last details for the ladybug. The only thing is left, and which is also the last one, are the details of the grass. One of them is the shadow of the ladybug on it. It isn't black, it's dark green. As you can notice, the part of the ladybug closer to the grass is darker and the parts which are further are brighter. I looked at the paint many times from different angles in order to fix some details, maybe shadows or the glass, so by the end of the process I was super satisfied. To be honest, this is my favorite part and I was so happy to take the white tape away. If you want to see more of tutorial videos, please let me know in comments. Put the thumbs up if you like the video and if you want to see more, please subscribe and see you next time.